Hello Internet. I have a very grave and serious announcement concerning the end of human life as we know it. But please forgive me from reading from this document. The details of this message cannot afford to suffer any lapse of memory or any other life otherwise. Many have been predicting that when the Mayan calendar ends on December 21st, 2012, the society will suffer a similar fate. However, there was never any elaboration on the specifics, until now anyway. Just this year, we've seen bizarre incidences involving human cannibalism running rampant, but primarily centered in Florida. The hot and human peninsula has proven host to the looming arbiter of our imminent demise. In this case, the zombie. Before you write me off as criminally insane or merely joking, let me substantiate my claims with the evidence that has led me to this theory. On May 26, the Miami Herald reported on the shooting of an apparently deranged homeless man who had to be shot and killed to stop him from meeting more of his victim who he had already attacked and was devouring. Officers say that they ordered him to desist, but he was unresponsive until they put him down with their firearms. The last time I checked, the zombies didn't own property, and don't have a very good track record of preparing civil or obeying orders either. But this one incident wasn't enough. A few weeks later, a local newspaper, the Palm Coast Observer, reported that a mentally challenged resident was jailed for biting the lips off a kitten. Although not an act of human cannibalism, flesh eating is still flesh eating. And for the claims that the perpetrator is mentally handicapped, zombies don't score too high on IQ tests either. But the coup de grace my theory was cemented when I saw Stephen Colbert's bit on this growing trend on Tuesday, June 5th. He reported that the CDC had recently issued a formal statement completely denying and trying to rebuke the growing rumors of a coming zombie apocalypse. Why would they bother going through the time and effort of taking an official stance on this issue unless it was actually plausible? Especially considering this is the exact opposite of a statement they made just last year stating, Better safe than sorry. Of course, Colbert's comments were made in jest, but think about the origin story of every piece of media concerning an undead epidemic. It's never taken seriously when it first begins, but laughed off or dismissed as simply maniacs, crazed group on drugs, or just plain insanity. That is, until your neighbors come by to borrow more than a cup of sugar and you're caught completely off guard by the mindless droves after but one thing, your flesh. On top of all that, Florida is the perfect spawning point for this. The warm climate is appealing to the body as it doesn't freeze or become immobile in the state's winter. And with people coming from all over the country, even in the world, to visit the Sunshine State, an effective party on board a plane, in a car, on a cruise ship, could then attack and recruit others to their new cause, and so on and so forth, until the entire planet has come to the Sunday of play. This, viewers, is a very real situation and not one to be taken lightly. Abandon all hope, all ye who write this message off as just a silly joke. The end is not.